Join me while I clean my kitchen for the first time since 2021. The first time since my daughter passed away. Now, don't get me wrong. I've swept or I've mopped. I even maybe washed three, four dishes. But for the most part, my granddaughter or my niece, who has her own cleaning business, has been coming about to do room by room for me. One month, she may come do the kitchen and one bathroom. The next time she came and she did the other bathroom in my grandson's room. It's been a minute since I had it over here, but now that I'm doing this, I can really see what I need her to do, which is the stove. She do the stove in both bathrooms, then we should be good from there. I'm gonna have the kids do the walls in the kitchen. That'll be our little um, next weekend project. It's a pretty large kitchen, so with uh, five kids, each kid can have their own section of the kitchen, and it'll get done pretty fast. Yeah, I know some of y'all probably can resonate and relate to how I was feeling. That depression is real, y'all. And people be depressed for a lot of reasons. I was depressed for losing my mom and then turn around and lose my daughter. I had, I was able to bounce back a little quicker, but with sadness, knowing visualizing my mom passing in front of me, taking her last breath, knowing that she was crying because she didn't want to pass away. That was the hardest part, but knowing that she wasn't in pain no more, and then she did get to at least see her last birthday. She passed away like three weeks after her birthday when she turned, I think she turned 73, 74. Her birthday was May 25th, and she passed away June 9th. So that was pretty hard, watching her decline right in front of me. And like I said, 10 months later, this happened. She passed away. Uh, it's not so much. We know people going to pass away. We all know that we got to go. But it be the way people pass away. And no matter how old they are or uh, how young they are, it's still hard. Especially when it's a parent, sibling, and your child. And I may say significant other, depending on, you know, y'all's situation. But uh, it wasn't so bad. I just was sitting here scrolling today, and I did a little content, and then I did a little African dance, a little video, and I had a little energy left. And I said, let me just go ahead, because I'm the type of person, I can say what I want to do and what I need to do, and I'm going to do it, but I can't say when I'm going to do it. I have to just pretty much get up and do it. Yeah, so I just had them into the garbage, and then, as y'all see, breaking it down. And the main thing we need to do is the walls and the stove. And yeah, there was kitchen windows and need some more <laughs> curtains up there. I've done the front room a couple of times. I've get a good sweeping, a good mopping and trying to rearrange it because I got a lot of my stuff in here and pails and totes, boxes of stuff, my uh, foot bath. I need to pull that out because I'm going to be doing my feet within the next seven, eight days. So I need to go and pull that out. Yeah, that's because I'm sleeping in the front room in the recliner. So that's why I'm, it's easy for me to jump up and get frustrated with looking at it being too cluttery or being too whatever. And we had a sectional, and I got part, got rid of part of the sectional. I just got to call the people out to come pick it up. It's actually in the garage. I plan on getting a, a futon. They got one on TikTok for $199. I might get one, maybe two, but I think it's just going to be one because it lets out. It's like pleatherette. It lets out into a bed and just sit up. And then with the bean bag, and I'm going to get me a new recliner. But I got to uh, really schedule it to where I don't have too much stuff in the garage. Get them to come out and get so much of it so we can make more room for the other stuff that need to go on there that needs to be eventually picked up. And try to get back to some to the norm, a little normalcy, at least why, until I can do better to find a place or just make this a place again. I haven't even been in the basement in over a year. Uh, the kids go down there and get stuff, which basically they're just getting clothes out the dryer, or putting them in or something like that. I send them down there. Tony lived down there. That's like his man cave. He worked from home down there, even though now he got a new job, so he goes out the house to work. But he was working from home down that base for about almost four years, if not longer, shit.
I hope everybody's enjoying their Sunday. I hope your weekend was everything. I hope you guys got a chance to come to the live and chop it up with me. If you didn't catch the replay, we was live for about an hour or two, I think. I might have been two hours. I'm going to try to go live a little bit more. I don't want to go live every day, though. I mean, every day for a week would be cool. But then just chop it on down to maybe two or three days a week. It all depends on what's going on. Sometimes you just got to play things by ear. But I really do appreciate y'all. Hopefully I'll hear something soon about being approved. And then I can, uh, wait. I'm waiting for them to send me this PIN number. Hopefully they won't say anything is wrong with my content. But at least I get a chance to see what's wrong if they do say I can't have this and can't do that while being monetized. Because I'm not really sure of all the do's and don'ts. I'm pretty clear about it on TikTok and uh, Meta because I've been monetized on both of those places but i'm not sure about youtube that's why i welcome all suggestions advice especially from people who do know i hope you guys have enjoyed the content i put up today i hope you guys are watching this whole video all the way through and don't forget to hit the like button y'all hit the like button and share share it to your community wall yeah depression is real y'all now just because i haven't cleaned my kitchen up and uh, since 2021, that don't mean that it's been nasty. My granddaughter's finna be 15. She's been cleaning the kitchen very well. Uh, not to, you know, like I would do it, because you know, there's only so much she can do with her age, you know. But I have, have like I said, I had my niece over, and I am gonna contact her. I'm thinking by the time, maybe right after my birthday. My birthday set to be 11, y'all, so I'm hoping I can have her over here. Uh, if not the end of September, most definitely in October, so. By the time the holidays come, if I want to cook something, you know, if I just want to cook, period, because uh, I'm the type of person, even if, you know, if I wanted some dressing and all that stuff around Thanksgiving or Christmas time, I'm not going to wait till that day to eat it. I'm not going to wait till that day at all. Only reason why we was kind of, you know, celebrating it is because uh, my mom was alive. His parents was alive. His father's gone. Now his mom's still here. But they would come up. We want to enjoy our people. You know what I'm saying? In those days made it easier because that's the way they conditioned us and had the world set up to where you get together with family on certain days and everybody had the same off days or off on weekends. And it was just tradition. You know how that go. But once my mama passed, I ain't shit pop after that. Nothing. I have a lot of good friends who do stuff. They cater. So for one Thanksgiving, I had one of my friends cook a whole meal and she brought it over the day before because like I said, I don't do nothing on them days. I'm going to eat when I want to eat. Matter of fact, I just had me some dressing and uh, macaroni and cheese and greens the other day. And yesterday I had some macaroni and cheese, greens, and fried chicken. So I'll probably just get something light today. Anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying this video. I'm trying my best, y'all. I'm trying. Some days are better than others. Yes, they never go away. You know, time heals all wounds to a certain extent. But you'll never be the same again once you lose your child. If you lose your child or your mom, depending on how close you are to her. But it does get better. Our better days. But then them days that it's not good when you just have that thought of that person or think about how they went and that they didn't want to go and how they must have felt in those last minutes. That's really heartbreaking. I mean, really, really heartbreaking. Because I couldn't do nothing to help her. They didn't even know she was in danger. You know, but I knew something wasn't right. For three weeks, my gut was telling me to talk to her. Something ain't right. I can't pinpoint it, 